Hey, look at, would you look at the time? Hey, there we go. Got the right button in there. How how is everyone this morning? Good to be back with you. This uh, it's dark here. Oh no, it's you know that time of year. It's it's dark early. It stays dark later in the morning. Anyway, bright and shiny in here. Oh wait, speaking of bright and shiny, yeah, that's better. Almost forgot to turn my lights on. Hey. Uh, do me a favor when you get here. Do what Joe and Keith and Cliff have already done. Leave me a comment down there. Let me know that you're here. Say hi. Give the old video the thumbs up, the like, whatever is appropriate in the venue where you are watching because you can listen um, in your favorite podcast catcher or watch here on Facebook or YouTube. There are lots of different opportunities. Do whatever feels right to you in the venue where you're looking. So this week we're talking about simplifying our path to success. We got kind of got things kicked off yesterday. Doggone it, and I forgot to do it again. See, I'm going to have to... Um, well, actually, I made this easier for you. Weird lighting now? Is that better? Oh, I need to mention this too, because Catherine asked yesterday... This thing on my nose. <laughs> I I actually didn't even think to to talk about it yesterday, but as soon as the show was over, she sent me a a message asking, "What's up with the thing on your nose?" Tree fell. The short story is, limb fell out of the tree, cut up the limb, leverage or something made one of them come up and smack me in the nose. So. It is what it is. So, look, here, um, last week and this week, and yesterday I asked you guys about this and nobody answered me, so I'm going to ask one more time and then let it go. Last week and this week I made the kind of the preview, released that out on Sunday afternoon, and included with that the note-taking guide. Uh, if you are interested in that sort of thing, here is the link to the page on the website. And I've also made it... Uh, Come on now. There we go. Easier to find on the website. If you go to TomRigsby.com, up in the menu, it says this week. Click on this week, and that'll be the most current version of this document. So there, if you want to go download the note-taking guide, you can. If you want to go see what's going on this week, which I encourage you to do, uh, because I do have an event coming up tomorrow, you should go check that out. All right, now, back to our topic. I touched on this a little bit yesterday, but before we can get to simplifying our path to success, we first have to figure out why we're holding on to complexity. And I kind of made a, a snide remark about, maybe it wasn't snide, but a, a remark about engineers liking to do complicated things. But that that's what we do is solve complicated problems. But even when we're solving complicated problems, we do it the simplest way possible, right? Now, and I said I would tell the story, a couple of stories maybe about space. There was a, um, I'm pretty sure it was before the very first space shuttle launch. There was delay after delay after delay. They couldn't, all the systems, they were still debugging the systems. And at one point, they got a group of guys up in the thing with the notebook jiggling wires, as complex of a system as that was, it still came down to one wire at a time, right? So what we do a lot of the times, we look at an outcome that we want to create and we say, oh man, that's complicated. I, you know, I, for whatever reason, we want to hold on to that complexity. I think there's really two reasons. One is, because it makes us feel, um, I don't know, smarter. I don't know what the right word is here. It makes us feel better about us saying that, hey, I'm able to tackle this complicated problem. The other reason, though, which I think is far more common, is that it uh, gives us a crutch to not do it. 
Well, that's pretty complicated. I'm going to go do this eat this simple thing first. Right? But we hold on to that, and we even look at, you know, whatever, buying a house, right? Uh, buying a house is complicated. We'll, we'll start that next month. Uh, by, you know, starting a business is complicated. We'll, we'll, we need to save up more money first, right? Well, it, it gives you an, ex- that, that, that complexity gives you an excuse, which is exactly why complexity, as I said yesterday, is the enemy of execution. It prevents you. It blocks you. It gives you an out for not executing and and very often a legitimate well you know we looked at that but it was pretty complicated okay and because nothing is so complicated that it can't be made simple if you can take the space shuttle for crying out loud and break it down into a list of wires that you need to go jiggle to see if you can get the little light to light up then I, I think whatever it is that you and I have on our plate, we can handle. Yeah, and Keith's exactly right. You build a wall one brick at a time, right? You go lay it out. And, and I, look, I'll, I'll give you a personal example here. Um, I'm, I'm working on a, an email campaign, right? And you look at the whole thing, it's like, man, that's a lot of, you know, there's, Seven, I think seven emails in this campaign. Oh, that's a lot. You got to tie all this stuff together. And oh, no, that's pretty complicated. Yep. You just have to write one email at a time. That's it. Right? Write the outline. Here are the seven emails you want to send. Write the, the, the theme, the point that you want to get across in that email. Now go write the email. Right? Break it down. Everything, anything is possible if you break it down into small enough chunks. All right. All right. So yesterday I asked you what complicated thing are you holding on to today? I want you to think about how you can, uh, if you have something that's complicated that you would like to attack that you just can't quite seem to get off the starting line with, Look at how you can break that down into smaller steps, into things that you can begin today. One thing that you can do today. All right. Hey, a quick reminder here. If you are in the Huntsville area tomorrow, tomorrow morning, the Madison Chamber, I'm doing my most requested workshop, Making Time for Success. That starts at 830, I believe, and that's going to be at the Hampton Inn in Madison all of that information's on the website. You can go to tomrigsby.com, click on upcoming events, and you'll see a link for it there where you can register. There's a teeny tiny little fee for it, uh, and you do, you should register in advance, but uh, I would love, love, love to see you there. It's an hour and a half. I think it's an hour and a half, 8.30 to 10. Um, love to see you there. Also, radio show's coming up in just a little bit. That'll be uh, in a little less than an hour, so be sure and tune in for that. Talk radio for entrepreneurs.com. That's it for me here on 7 Minutes in the Morning. But you guys can continue to have a great day, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. <laughs>